Chinese military is holding a major exercise to prove how the People's Liberation Army Navy can use a large civilian ferry to launch a massive amphibious invasion of Taiwan. The numbers are bigger than we've ever seen before. However, launching ships like the 26-ton ZTD-05, an amphibious armored vehicle used by the PLA at sea is a new development, Shugart said. The amphibious exercise comes less than a month after U.S. House Speaker Rep. Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. The visit drew a massive show of force from China as Beijing stepped up military air and sea activities around the island. Plan brings an amphibious landing craft to China's coast near the Taiwan Strait, according to satellite imagery under review. Off the coast, the plan organizes several ferries and large civil warships. The PLA landing craft left the shore, swam to the car ferry and loaded the amphibious assault ship at sea via a specially constructed ramp. The landing craft then left the ferry and returned to their starting point. Defense analyst Tom Shugart, who monitors Chinese military exercises, followed the drills and tracked seven dual-use amphibious ferries during the drills. In addition, satellite imagery company Maxar Technologies has provided Usni News with high-resolution images of the August exercise, revealing important details. They ended up parked offshore in an area close to another area where we've seen them conduct amphibious attack training before on commercial ferries. The roll-on roll-off ferry has been identified as the Bohai Hangtong, a 15,000-ton multi-purpose cargo ship. The ferry's internal parking lane is 1.6 miles long and 3 meters wide, spread over three decks. This means a vehicle cargo capacity that is nearly three times that of the San Antonio-class amphibious warship LPD-17, Shugart said. An LHA or LPD costs a lot of cubic feet for marines that can operate for weeks or months at sea. That's a lot of wasted space if all you do is make a quick trip across the strait, he said. This ship is not unique. His sister ship, the Bohai Hengda, was built at the same time to the same specifications. As the name implies, they usually operate in the Bohai Sea. But for practice, Bohai Hengtong sailed more than 1,000 miles south to face off against Taiwan. The concept of adding amphibious warships with civilian ships, and ships taken from trade, is not new to the plan. The Chinese Navy has been practicing it for years. Many were used for transport, while some carried artillery on their decks for coastal bombing. Everyone assumes that you have to seize the port first. That the ferry was a second echelon troop. Someone else has to take the port, he said. The year 2021 is the first time we've seen them dump an amphibious assault vehicle directly into the water which means now the ferry could be the first echelon to send an assault unit directly ashore. The new row row ship launched in 2020 is significant in several ways. They are larger than most other ships in their class. When launched at the CIMC Raffles shipyard in Yantai, the shipyard described the ships as Asia's largest multi-purpose row rows. They are multi-purpose ships designed from the start to carry a wide variety of vehicles and containers and built with a large helicopter landing deck. Previous norms such as not sailing warships outside the centerline in the Taiwan Strait, were ignored during the drills. The new normal saw increased activity, including flying drones over Taiwan's islands. One important drone incident occurred on the same day as the amphibious exercise. Several Chinese Navy ships were also involved in the exercise. Typo 7-1 class landing platform dock, was Yishun comes with older landing craft tanks. It also practices swimming with armored vehicles. Shugart said, China's roll-on or roll-off ferries are perfect for supporting any invasion of Taiwan. Civil augmentation will be essential, if it does not provide most of the required sea lift capacity. Since the exercise, the row row ship has returned to its normal route, transporting civilian vehicles across the entrance to the Bohai Sea. But their capabilities will allow China to switch to invasion mode in no time. What can you find better than a ferry? That's what they do. That's what they're designed for, is to move vehicles and people quickly, get them off and back and work as efficiently as humanly possible," Shugart told Yuzni News.